get to the money. Gotta get to the money. Uh huh. Early morning, so you know that I'm on. So you know that I'm on. Gotta make sure that my family straight. Gotta make sure that my kids and me. Welcome to another episode of Drinking After Dark, a podcast where we discuss random topics while having a few drinks. I'm your host, Darius, and as always, drink responsibly. And y'all make sure y'all follow Drinking After Dark podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And y'all make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe to Drinking After Dark podcast YouTube channel. Uh, tonight, um, I'm just drinking on you know, some vodka and Sprite tonight, man. You know, some different. You know, y'all know I usually drink my uh, whiskey and my Coke or Dr. Pepper, whatever, but it's uh, it's vodka and Sprite tonight. Also, I just want to give a thanks to everybody who wished me a happy birthday. I appreciate all the love and support. I had a great weekend with friends and family. Uh, so thank you for all the uh, the uh, texts, phone calls, uh, you know, posts on, you know, Facebook, whatever. Wish me a happy birthday. So I appreciate that. And uh, thoughts and prayers to uh, Baltimore. Uh, thoughts and prayers to Baltimore. Um, you know, with the the whole the the bridge incident. So we are uh, praying for you, man. Uh, you're in our thoughts and prayers. All right, y'all. Let's go and get this thing started. So we got to talk about this, man. Listen, we cannot talk about this without basically bringing this up. All right. Now, what do I mean by bringing this up? Well. 2024 has been a, a year. It, it's just been so far. It's been a crazy year. And this story, I mean, it's big. I mean, we got to talk about it. Diddy's homes being uh, raided by the feds. Um, L.A., uh, Miami homes being raided by the uh, feds. Uh, Homeland Security uh, simultaneously. Uh, no one was arrested. Uh, but, you know, when the feds rage, you, there's a lot of probable cause for them to rage on homes. Uh, obviously, this has a lot to do with, um, you know, some stuff that it was in, I think, like uh, trafficking and things like that. So it's, uh, it's a big story. <laughs> and uh, we got to talk about this because a lot of people uh, who have been coming out saying things about Diddy for years, um, uh, even when Cat Williams said something about Diddy on Club Shay Shay, it was it was really nothing we haven't heard before. Okay, we kind of all heard it before, but this time it's coming to the forefront and everything like that. Of course, you see people making jokes on TikTok, you know, stuff like that. Obviously, is that just how people are, right? Sometimes they got too much damn time on their hands. But homes are being raided. I'm gonna give you my uh and I think really. Everything got kickstarted. I think people were saying it was with Cassie and everything like that. But, you know, all this has been talked about for years, right? Uh, especially when it comes to the entertainment in industry. Uh, nothing should shock you because it's been, we've been hearing this thing nonstop, right? Really nonstop, especially over the last, at least the last five years, five, six years. But it happened anyway, so... uh my opinion about this, I'm not surprised by it. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, of course, they're going to talk about it and whatnot. Um, there's a lot of theories out there um, and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, uh, I think I saw Diddy sold, uh, I think, all of his shares to Revolt TV. I think he's, he has basically, he's, he's not involved with it anymore. Okay. Um, last summer, he sued Ciroc for uh, racial discrimination. Uh, if y'all don't know Ciroc, I guess he, I, I think he partnered up. He partnered up with Ciroc. I don't think he owned as much of it, but he partnered up with him. Um, and he sued them last summer. And now you look at, you know, what's been going on lately. Uh, it's 
I mean, man, it, it's it's been Diddy's been in the news quite a bit, believe it or not, um, uh, for a while, and now you got the feds involved, right? And, you know, you hear a lot of people saying, well, it's about time, you know, this and that. He was doing this and all of that stuff. Then you got, you know, you got the artist side of things, you know, basically saying, hey, he's been screwing me out of money and all this stuff. This is basically karma, this and that. Uh, I think, for me, I think we're, we're seeing an empire coming down. I think we're starting to see an empire coming down. In my opinion, because don't get me wrong, you know, Diddy has created something, you know, that was really big. You know, you got Bad Boy, you know, he had the Sean John and um obviously the Ciroc. Uh you no, know, you got the the TV revolt, you know, the reality TV, you know, making the band and all of that stuff. But I think from that, I think people are start saying, you know, what goes around comes around. You know, we know we know about the history of his artists and things like that. Uh, one of them being Mace, you know, who is when you're talking about uh, rappers who are very unique. Mace was the one that was very unique. Basically, after Notorious uh, B.I.G. passed away, Mace kind of kept that train going because let's just be honest, you know. Big Biggie was the the big he, he was bad boy. I was gonna say it, you know, ain't no disrespect to any other artist, but he was bad boy. But Mace was that uh I feel like Mace was the guy that kept it going. But Mace was speaking out against Diddy for years, right? And nobody was really hearing him like that until, you know, now, you know, on his on his podcast with Cameron, uh what it is. He uh came out and his thoughts were, you know, y'all see all of that? I he basically said I escaped that. Um, you know, so you got people who see things and they've been they've been saying this for a while, right? They talking about his parties, this and that. Uh it's just been nonstop when it comes to Diddy, right? And um uh, I think you now you start seeing the uh empire coming down i think this is just to me i think this is just the tip of the iceberg i think there's a lot of things that's about to come out that we probably already knew that we just need confirmation on or some stuff that we didn't know is probably going to shock us which it shouldn't because you know we had a point in society that nothing should shock us nothing should shock us anymore but it's uh i feel like it's it's going to happen eventually. So, I'm, I'm going to say this real quick. Uncle Luke said something, right? Uh, it, it, it's from really like a different perspective, but it's kind of like the truth in a sense, right? Uh, Diddy sues a rock for racial discrimination. Uncle Luke brought that up basically saying you're going to go after uh and you're talking about the um uh, Ciroc and the owners of Ciroc things like that right the the big the big guys and Uncle Luke says something that I think a lot of people probably should go back and watch it the videos on TikTok right um but he basically saying when you think you're big when you think you When, when you get to a certain point that you forget your place and you try to go after the people that you know made you a billionaire, basically uh, go after the hand that fed you. They're not going to take that. They're going to come back after you, right? And they're going to humble you real quick. And Luke broke it down so so good to where he said, when you go after these people, yeah, you might got, you might was a millionaire, yeah. But you didn't become a billionaire until you start dealing with us. We made you who you are. And when you come after us, you have to understand you're you're going against 
man, I, you're not just going against the corporation. You're going against everything that comes with that corporation, right? You said you and we all knew we all know this, right? We know these big corporations, they do have these politicians on their payroll. The congressmen, the senators, hell, even the judges, right? They got judges. You know, so you're going after them. If they want, if they want to destroy you, they can destroy you in this in this manner right here. And I think now you're starting to see um everything starting to come back on Diddy. You know, what he has probably done to his artists, to, you know, what he has done in his personal life. I listen, what they say, what goes around comes around. I don't know everything he's done in his personal life. It's probably gonna come to light eventually, but it's not a good look for Diddy. And when you're talking about, excuse me, when you're talking about the uh, the uh, Empire of Bad Boy, right? The Empire of Bad Boy, it's uh, it's it's going to come crumbling down. It's it's crumbling down, right? It's I don't know if um, I think the older generation. I I've heard this right, how Bill Cosby and his downfall came from him trying to purchase NBC, right? Um, he was so big, he tried to buy NBC. That was like, no, we can't have that, so we're going to find things to basically put him back in his place. And you saw the effects of it, I mean, decades later, right? Um, I don't know how true that is, but that's what I heard from the older generation. Um, but it's it's almost like in that same breath, to where, you know, you think you're this, but you're really not. It's like a mirage, right? Like the power you think you possess is really a mirage because the the people who pretty much gave you that power, they really have power over your power in a sense. And then when you try to use that against them, they're going to be like, nah, we're not going to do that. So I would suggest y'all go back and listen to Luke and what he was saying on his, uh, Uncle Luke on his uh, TikTok page and how he broke all of this stuff down. Um, Mace, obviously Mace was, uh, one of the people, uh, that really was speaking out against Diddy and things like that. Uh, basically how he was treated at Bad Boy, wasn't paid fairly, wasn't treated, uh, fairly at Bad Boy. And, and, um, you know, basically said, Hey, there's a reason why I left all of this. You know, he said it on his platform. So I think we're we're starting to see uh the end of an empire. Honestly, I think that's what we're starting to see. We're starting to see the end of an empire. And I mean, who's next? I mean, we're at the point where people are trying to figure out who's next. People brought up Jay-Z's name, right? Like he's next, is he? You know, um, some woman brought up Justin Bieber, Chris Brown. She even brought up MC Hammer. I was like, okay, I don't know what MC Hammer got to do with this, but she brought him up. I was like, I don't know what's going on and anything like that. We just know our eyes and ears are out there. We don't know what's going to happen. It might not even be this year. It might not be next year or year after that. But we know we know something. Someone is next. And ironically, we don't know if it's even in the music business or like the or in Hollywood, right? And I'm telling you, this has been. I mean, everything is being put in the light. If y'all saw my episode last week, quiet on set. Um, y'all see how they talked about what was going on at Nickelodeon, right? And on the set of Nickelodeon. Now you seeing Diddy being raided. And, you know, people have been talking about Bad Boy and, you know, his parties and this and that for years. And now the feds have, you know, got the probable cause to go raid his homes. Who's next? We We don't know. So we're sitting here asking ourselves, who is next and why is, and, 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 uh, 
Who, who's going to be? We don't know. We don't know, but I'm I guarantee you, whoever comes out next won't shock us. I think we at the point that we shouldn't even be shocked. I think it's just a story that people want to continue to play into. Um, I think we're going to start seeing this big, big thing coming crashing down eventually. So that's my, that's just my uh, take on it. Um, there's still a lot to be uh, unpacked on this. So that's just the initial thing. But I guarantee you more information is going to come out uh, on it. And, hey, you never know. You never know what's going to, uh, <laughs> you never know what's going to uh, come out of all of this, right? Uh, so once they, I guess, if they do make it public, it ain't going to be public right now. Unless somebody pay somebody to get the information, you know it's going to be uh we're just gonna have to wait and see what's coming out next in this whole thing. So, and everybody who's associated, whoever been associated with Diddy, I, I'm pretty sure people are gonna start trying to put the puzzle together, right? So it's it's gonna happen. But in my opinion, I think we're gonna start seeing the uh, fall of the empire, and someone is definitely next. All right, y'all. Uh, so let's. I just want to talk about this thing just for a couple of minutes, because um, this is this is gonna be my. I was gonna give y'all my reaction to this. Uh, talk about this on the podcast, but obviously you had to talk about Diddy and uh, what's going on with him. But I got. I'm gonna talk about this. Give y'all my quick reaction uh, on this particular documentary, which y'all can catch it on Hulu, uh, the Freak Nick documentary, right? Um, for the Gen Zers, um, uh, I'm pretty sure they probably heard about Freak Nick. Um, but me as a millennial, we obviously we heard about it, um, and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't. Now my reaction is, in a way, I kind of knew what it was, right? We heard stories from our parents and things like that about Freak Nick and the culture around Freak Nick. It was basically, you know, the black spring break uh, of the 80s and 90s and stuff like that. Now, I didn't, in terms of how it got started and how the name came about, I didn't know that. Uh, you know, started with a, a group, uh, this organization at the HBCU uh, started this thing, and it pretty much just grew. Right. And basically freak nickname came from well the word word freak and then picnic. So you just basically combine the two came to uh uh it became freak nick, okay. Um but with that being said, uh yeah, nothing about that documentary. Uh it really didn't tell me anything because I'm sitting there like I we kind of knew this story. Um, now I knew they're trying to bring it back, and I know the old school people's like that's not freak Nick, right? Uh, I guess the guy bought the name, and yeah, he bought the 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 rights to the name, and he tried to bring it back in a different way. Uh, the problem is, is that during that particular time, uh, a freak Nick was going on. You know, you heard the stories, but you really didn't see it. You know. Uh, tapes were re wasn't really out there like that. Uh, people were driving in. They weren't taking planes. They were driving in, right, from schools all over, right, driving to Atlanta to Freak Nick. And uh, it was very interesting, too, because I heard how uh, the artists down there, too, they were just passing out their music uh, to the people down there to let people hear their music. So from a marketing standpoint, that was actually pretty genius, which um, I didn't know about that, but everything else about Freak Nick, I mean, it really didn't, I, I really didn't learn anything new and overall, because I heard about it. And, you know, if you're, if you're a younger person, probably like 21, 22, you could probably watch it and get more uh, insight to it. But for me, overall, I mean, it was, it was good, but it was kind of like for me, I, 
you know, I thought I was going to learn something new that I really didn't learn anything new. So, um, but, you know, like I said, it's a year of the documentaries. So we never know what's going to come up next, right? So uh, we'll see. I mean, 2024 is crazy, man, so far. 2024 is crazy. I don't know what 2025 might even be. It might be crazy. But we still got, what, we going into, we're heading into April now. So, what, eight, eight more months? Eight more months of this uh, year? That's a long time. And you know, stories ain't gonna stop. So, um, um, we gonna look to you know, see what's next. You know, you never know. You never know. All right, y'all, man. Listen, I appreciate you guys tuning in with me tonight. Uh, you know, again, this was fun and everything like that. Continue to support the platform. Uh, make sure y'all follow Drain After Dark podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Y'all hit that like and subscribe to Drain After Dark podcast YouTube channel. Also, episodes air every week on YouTube, uh, uh, Spotify, Our Radio, Apple Podcast. So y'all check that out. You know, uh, listen, man. Uh, again, tell your friends and family. Any suggestions? I should, like in terms of drinks I should try. Um, I'm gonna try it. Uh, there's one particular drink I want to try, but it's not available here in my city. So. Hopefully it will be soon so I could try it. And because I really want to talk about this particular drink on my podcast. So um yeah, hopefully that will happen. But till it till it does, sending y'all suggestions of drinks I should try. I'll try it out, man. And I don't know, maybe talk about it. All right. Till next time, I'm Darius from Drinking After Dark Podcast. I'll be out. Peace. Gotta get to the money. Hey, Gotta get hey, to the money. Get to the money, get to the money, uh-huh.